In a major shakeup for India's drone industry, the Indian Army has taken a firm and uncompromising stand against drones and loitering munitions that cannot function in GPS-denied environments. This decision has sent a strong message across the domestic unmanned systems sector, forcing companies to rethink their designs and upgrade their technology. The Army's position became clear after multiple field evaluations where drones that relied only on GPS navigation failed miserably whenever GPS signals were jammed. This directive was formally issued in early October after a harsh assessment of 46 indigenous drone prototypes. The Indian Army concluded that the majority of these systems were unsuitable for modern warfare, especially considering rising threats along the borders with China and Pakistan. Army Chief General Lupendrad Vivedi stated at a DRDO conclave that GPS jamming is no longer a rare battlefield event but a standard tactic used in peer conflicts. This assessment came directly from the lessons learned during Operation Sindor, where most Indian-made UAVs lost their way, drifted blindly, or crashed when GPS signals were disrupted. During the same operation, officials confirmed that only the Israeli-made loitering munitions continued to work effectively under GPS jamming. In contrast, many Indian drones failed to track targets, hold their navigation path, or complete programmed attack missions. This exposed a critical weakness and made it clear that India needed to shift toward more resilient and intelligent drone systems. This is where hyperspectral imaging, or HSI, enters the battlefield. Unlike standard RGB cameras that capture only three color channels, HSI collects data across hundreds of narrow spectral bands, revealing details that the human eye or normal sensors simply cannot detect. In GPS-denied conditions, this technology becomes a game-changer. It allows drones to identify materials, detect camouflage targets, track movement, and even navigate terrain using the unique spectral signatures of the environment. Dr. Priya Sharma from IIT Bombay explained how HSI data can be integrated into drone navigation. At her lab, a VTOL drone successfully completed a 10-kilometer mock patrol along the LAC using HSI data without any GPS support. By analyzing soil, vegetation, rocks, and water bodies, each with its own spectral fingerprint, the drone was able to map the route, classify terrain, and localize itself with an impressive 2 to 3 meter accuracy. Natural features such as vegetation reflectance acted like beacons, enabling the drone to maintain stable paths even in unfamiliar regions. HSI equipped drones don't depend on a single system. They combine hyperspectral data with inertial measurement units, machine learning models, and onboard AI. This fusion allows them to operate even in challenging environments like sandstorms, mountains, fog, or cluttered urban landscapes. Recent Army Aviation Corps trials using data from ISRO's hyperspectral satellites proved this capability. In these tests, HSI-enabled quadcopters detected mock PLA positions nearly 3 kilometers away in zero visibility conditions, something traditional sensors failed to achieve. As Dr. Sharma described, it gives drones X-ray vision on the battlefield. What's even more interesting is that Indian manufacturers aren't waiting for expensive foreign sensors. Instead, they are using hyperspectral datasets from ISRO's HYSIS satellite and DRDO's airborne hyperspectral platform to train AI models. These massive spectral libraries contain data from diverse terrains, from high-altitude snowfields to marshy regions and dense jungles. With this information, companies can create lightweight models that run on low-cost sensors. A great example is Tombow's Project Spectra, which uses regular phone-grade CMOS cameras combined with artificial intelligence to mimic the output of a full hyperspectral sensor. This approach cuts costs by nearly 70% while extending detection ranges up to 5 kilometers. Such innovations are pushing Indian companies to build smarter, cheaper, and more battlefield-ready drones that can survive without GPS. In conclusion, the Indian Army's tough stance has triggered a technological revolution. What started as criticism has now become the driving force behind the next generation of autonomous, AI-driven, GPS-independent drones. With hyperspectral imaging, machine learning, and edge computing leading the way, India's unmanned systems industry is preparing drones that can not just survive, but dominate, the electronic warfare-heavy battlefields of the future.